welcome to this deaf girl can as a 40 something professional who is profoundly deaf i've got loads of life experience and i really want to share this with people to help you i set up a blog this deaf girl can dot com because i think it's the best way to share experiences i love writing my blog covers uh, the history of deafness as well as deafness now in 2022 and my own experiences growing up in the 80s i reflect on living with deafness in a hearing world for example, I cover things like living during COVID-19. I cover the cost of living as it is now. I cover um, the world of work, managing that as a deaf person and the hearing colleague to support deaf colleagues. Um, I cover being a deaf parent as a mum of two children myself. The blog is quite new, so I will be adding to it over time. Just as hearing people are diverse, so too are deaf people. No two deaf persons are the same. It ranges from mild to moderate to severe to profound. Those who wear hearing aids usually tend to have mild, moderate to severe hearing loss. Those who are profoundly deaf usually tend to sign. So my blog provides information if you're interested in how to support a deaf friend or a deaf member of the family or a deaf colleague. Here are some quick top tips to get you started. Tip number one. It's really important to speak clearly because as a deaf person, I need to read your lips. Tip number two, when you're out and about with a deaf person, try to find somewhere quiet because there's nothing more distracting than background noise. Tip number three, lighting is really important to get right. It's hard to lip read a person standing in front of a window. Tip number four, instead of using the phone, why not try using the camera on your laptop? Just turn it on, it's fantastic because the deaf person can see you and see what you're saying. Tip number five, when you're eating with a deaf person, try not to speak with your mouth full of food. What, so this sort of thing? Yeah. So, to find out more information, go to thisdeafgirlcan.com.